Today happens to be two one correct score lines in the EPL match day eight. Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Manchester City. It ended up 2-1 in favor of Man City. Of course, everybody knew that Manchester City would be taking the maximum three points away. Just that they suffered before. They had their winning goal at the stoppage time. I'm not going to talk much about this particular game because it was obvious that Man City would be carrying out all the maximum three points. But the match I'm going to talk much about in this video is actually the competitive game. Liverpool versus Chelsea, it was 2-1 in favor of Liverpool. What are the information coming out of this particular game? I'm going to give all of them to you. But obviously, before we start, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Tap on the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, before we start, I'm going to be honest with you. If the referee had added even three days to the game... I wouldn't be bored watching it because it was very entertaining, very interesting, very energetic, you know? Yeah, it was very energetic because if an opponent gets a ball, it becomes risky. The same thing happens to the other opponent. Now, Liverpool two goals to one. A player called Mohamed Salah, the Egyptian king, had a penalty and he was able to convert the penalty to goal. Then, um, Jackson equalized. Secondly, Curtis Jones had another goal. You know, Jones really played very well. I'll be talking much about that. He had the winning goal for Liverpool. I'm going to be honest with you. Chelsea really played well. Statistically, Chelsea played 57% of both possession, was Liverpool, who is in Anfield, played 43% ball possession. Liverpool defense was so tight in such a way that um, Justin wasn't able to penetrate. He had only one penetration point where he scored the goal. Apart from that, he wasn't able to penetrate either in um, Ibrahima Konate or Virgil van Dijk. So I would just say um, they really, really perform well. I mean, Ibrahim Konate and Virgil van Dijk. Now, Nicholas Jackson, just as I said, he found it very difficult to penetrate, but still he had another goal for um, Chelsea. Now, everybody was expecting that Chelsea would equalize, even though they really played hard, but they couldn't. That is sad for Chelsea. The sad thing is that upon how they played, still they lost all the maximum three points. All the kudos go to Liverpool. And as it stands now, Liverpool is leading the table. Don't forget that at the end of everything, I'll be giving you an update on the league table. So stay tuned, watch till the end, and of course, you are going to benefit a lot. Now, back to the game. Curtis Jones was really amazing. He was clinical. He was strong. He was fit. Everything was perfect for him. But just that, in fact, I wasn't happy when I saw that he was being substituted for Mark Alester. Even though Mark Alester wasn't bad, he was also strong on the ball and he did a lot of amazing things in the game. So, um, in my own opinion, I think Curtis Jones should have played all the full time. But, of course, they won. So, I would just say the coach did as expected. Mohamed Salah, the Egyptian king, did amazing thing today. He made an assist and then scored a goal. Even though it was a penalty goal, but still, it is a goal. Don't forget that this assist becomes the sixth assist in all competition for Mohamed Salah. And then seventh goal, the goal that he scored, that was the penalty goal, was his seventh goal in 11 games. So Mohamed Salah has done a very great um, performance or he did a very great performance within this particular game. And then this goal that he scored was the eighth goal against his former club, Chelsea. So Mo Salah has scored eight goals against his former club, Chelsea. A lot of people were expecting much for him because of his pedigree, but of course, what he did is also amazing. They have been able to um, carry out all the maximum three points. Don't forget that his goal also contributed to Liverpool's win. In general, I would say he did well and he's still the great player in Liverpool. Luis Diaz. Now, this player, I would say, is absolutely insane. Amazing player, world class player. Player Luis Diaz on the 66 minutes, Luis Diaz came in. He removed Cody Gapo. Now, I was wondering why Anislaw didn't start this particular player, Luis Diaz, world class player. In fact, when he came, everything changed. When he had the ball, nobody could collect the ball from him. In fact, he never lost any ball. Hey, Luis Diaz, man, oh man, Luis Diaz. 
What a game. In fact, um, I was shocked when I saw that he was on the bench. I don't know what happened. This is a very competitive game. Or um, the coach was planning something else. I don't know, but in general, he shouldn't be on bench. So that is that for... Then Kopama and Jordan Sancho, these two players, in fact, had a bad day. Kopama had a bad day. When you get the ball inside the 18-yard balls, he becomes a little bit risky. But outside the 18 yard balls, in fact... Today was a very bad day for Kopama. Then Jordan Sancho as well. In fact, they removed Jordan Sancho on the 46 minutes. That is um, in the beginning of the second half. Things were not moving well for him at all. So the coach has to, you know, Enzo Maresca has to substitute him. And then that is that for Kopama and Jordan Sancho. Now, Moise Casedo and then Pedro Neto. Pedro Neto came in on the 46 minutes, he replaced um, Jordan Sancho. In fact, he did amazing. When you get the ball, you see the energy that you'll be moving with the ball. He doesn't pass though, but still he doesn't lose the ball so easily. He did well. If you ask me, I would just say he performed really, really well. Enzo Fernandez. Oh my God, what exactly is happening to this player? In fact, he also had a bad day. I'm not going to lie. He also had a bad day. Things were not moving for him. So most um, Moses Casado and Pedro Neto. If you ask me, I would just say um, Moses Casado was Chelsea's best player as far as this match is concerned. He really did well. He was aggressive, strong on the ball, and then the passes were so accurate. So I would just say um, for this particular game, Chelsea's man of the match goes to um, Mois, Moses Casado. The man of the match was given to Curtis Jones and there's no doubt about that because he really performed very well. Now back to the league table. Things have honestly changed. Liverpool still leading. March the 8th has come to a successful end. Liverpool on top of the table with a total of 21 points, followed by Manchester City, 20 points. Arsenal, oh my gosh, Arsenal. Red card is pulling Arsenal back. Arsenal. Don't forget that Arsenal have played a total of eight matches, won five, drawn two, and then lost one. The drawn matches and then the one loss game was actually as a result of red card. So I'm going to say red card is actually pulling Arsenal back. We are hoping that they work on that. Else, something bad will happen. What we experienced last season, we are going to experience the exact same thing if they don't work on their red cars. Fourth position is Aston Villa, total of 17 points. So, Arsenal and Aston Villa are having the same points, 17-17. Fifth position is Brighton, 15 points. Chelsea, Chelsea, after they lost to Liverpool, they are on the sixth position with a total of 14 points. Seventh is Tottenham, Hospice, 13 points. Newcastle United, 12. Fulham, 11. Benmouth, Manchester United, also 11. So, Fulham, Benmouth, Manchester United, are all having the exact same points, 11-11. I'm going to end here because uh, Manchester United made me went down. Else, I wouldn't have gone down just like that. So, mind you, work hard, come on top, so that next time, I wouldn't be going down there. What are you expecting? Let me know that in the comment section. What are your thoughts on this particular game? Let me know that right in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'm going to end here. See you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.